my god! Like something was just behind me just now. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm Mo Sarji. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts or spirits would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night paranormal investigation. Today, I am somewhere in Jasper, Florida. My friend Omar is inside right now, and we are about to do a paranormal investigation and actually spend the entire night in this haunted jail. This jail is really old. It dates back to the 1800s, and the owner has graciously given us permission to film here the entire night. Supposedly, this place is super haunted. I'm excited to see what we're gonna find in this place tonight. Smash like button, Omar's link is gonna be down below. We are collabing on this video and uh, let's get right into it. So we haven't explored this jail just yet, you guys. So this is what I'm gonna do for this video. I'm gonna explore the jail and then I'm gonna do a separate video doing a paranormal investigation. And I might, if I have the time, I mean, we do have the time, we're here all night. If I'm not too tired, I'm gonna do another video where basically we do an alone in the dark challenge inside of this place. Our friend Carlo is with us as well. And let's see if we capture anything. I'm already seeing a skeleton in the window, which kind of freaked me out earlier because I took some photos in the dark on the outside and it wasn't there. And then somehow it magically and mysteriously showed up. So I don't know what to deal with that. Like I said, we haven't been upstairs yet. Who's whistling at us? It's kind of freaky out here. Let's go inside, you guys. All right, here we go. No, we got Omar over here. Hey! What's up, man? Hey, there was like somebody weird like whistling outside. You serious? Yeah, like cause that's why I came inside. It kind of freaked me out. From a distance, he was just like whistling at me from a distance. Whistling at you? Yeah, it was weird. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Are so you still locked there? I locked, no, I don't know. They were like in the bush or something, but like actually in the bush. Just lock the door. I don't know. <laughs> the door is locked. The whole, this is the jail, guys. So let me give you guys a tour and show you guys around this place. It does look abandoned. But it's actually, I think it is used as a museum or they're trying to renovate it to make this place into a museum. As you guys can see, there is power and they do have a running bathroom, which we all just use right now. But look at this TV over here. And these books over here are probably the books that the prisoners were allowed to read. I don't think they were allowed to read anything else, but I mean, this could be for the museum attraction. I'm not 100% sure. This place is falling apart though, but in a good way. I like it when things end up looking like this. This is really cool. There's another room over here, which is I'm thinking the break room. I haven't been in here just yet. This is the kitchen. Whoa, wow. As you guys can see, there's only one way in and one way out because everything is padlocked. Oh look, the lock is actually open. I wonder what's in there. This is just a storage. Let's see what's inside of here. It's probably an electrical room, to be honest. Yep, electrical room. As I suspected. Sergeant, smash the like button. Comment something positive. We're giving you guys a really cool banger here today. Um, we've been just at it, grinding, grinding, grinding. There will be some videos that will come out from Canada and some videos that will come out from here because I do have videos from Canada still that I haven't posted, which is why like when I post them, some of you guys might be like, hey, I thought he was in the USA. And then like, hey, why is he in Canada? So to avoid any confusion, that's what happened. So I have videos that I, I should be posting before these ones. And it just all depends if I feel like posting videos from the USA first or from Canada first. But look at this oven over here. Isn't this awesome? Got all the old pots. So this was a jail. It housed a lot of inmates and uh, there was a lot of inmates that actually died in here and there were some murders that took place in here. What is this? I wonder where this door goes to. We'll find out in a little bit. I haven't gone upstairs yet. Let's go inside this room and see what's in here. Ooh. Ooh, there's some jail cells over here. Look at this. Wow, there's like an old typewriter. Whoa, look at these. These were already here. There's some x-rays. This was the nurse's office, I, I guess. 
And look at this, we got this doll here, this Annabelle the doll. I've actually been seeing a lot of these around this place today, so that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and creep out Omar for a sec. Let's throw this mask on. Hello. I'm scared to crap out of here. I know. I found these masks over here. Look at this. I don't know why they were here, but they were like all here. And look, dude, this is their x-ray machine over here for the nurse, the nurse's office. I don't know why these masks were here, but they're cool. There's someone's lungs. Yeah, yeah. Right oh, there. Oh, that's a picture of an x-ray. Yeah, name. that's here. That's Whoa, here. Oh, look, on another property. one right there. Another one. Dude, look, that's somebody pretty much like getting executed here. Unbelievable. So, the Jasper Jail is some of the history here. I just dug this up, which there's not a lot of stuff that you can find online. It's very limited. Yeah. The Jasper Jail was, I guess, home to people that were like living their last days for horrible crimes. Like death row and This was like a death row jail Holy shit. back in the day. That means there's gonna be tons of negative energy in here tonight. Well, not only that, so it's the prisoners that are here trying to find freedom that are lurking in the shadows. So that's what we're gonna experience tonight. Some may be evil, some may be good. Maybe none of them are evil. We have no idea. I don't know. Oh, you know they're gonna be evil if there were death row inmates, dude. We've had a couple right. friends that came here. I haven't really talked to them about their experiences. In fact, I haven't even watched their videos. People always ask me to watch their videos. I'm sure people ask you. Yeah, I don't even watch my own videos. I don't have the time. I, I, don't, have, I don't have time to watch my own videos, too. So I ain't going to be watching Mo's videos. I mean, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it depends. You know. Oh, what the hell? Hey, I'm over here. Oh, wow. Behind the cell. Okay. Dude, this is so cool. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh my God. What did I just find? Holy crap. Dude, you will not believe what I just found. You're gonna wanna come and see this, bro. All right, fam, so I did end my vlog. What is this? There's like more cells over here. You're gonna wanna see this, like that's scary. Okay. For that? Oh! Dude, <laughs> dude, what the hell? A full blown mannequin, like, what the hell? Uh, okay. <laughs> and there's more prison cells down that way to the left. I just seen the boudet. Damn. The boudet. There's still some things that I haven't explored down here, but I do want to go upstairs and take you guys up there alone. So get ready for a fright fest. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's up there. I haven't been up there yet. Like I said, that mannequin was a complete shock to me. And so let's go. We're going to go up there completely alone while these boys are going to be down here exploring here, and then they're going to come upstairs after me. Oh, there's an electric chair. Is it really? Yeah. What? Uh, that's a real electric chair. Oh my God. I have never been to an, a, a prison that had an electric chair in it. Guys, look, you can see how smoked the wood is. Oh, this is scary. I don't know. So the wires are cut. I don't know if this is real. This, this cannot be real. There's no way. But it could very well be. This place is ancient. Wow, there's some beds up here. There's like more prison cells. The way this place is built, it doesn't make any sense. Look at this, this is an actual bed. It smells like someone's been here right now. Look at this pillow, yucky. Talk about bed bugs, right? And look at this bathroom. Wow, so like, I don't know how many inmates were here per cell. This one looks like it might've had one. But keep in mind, the most dangerous of inmates stayed in these prisons back in the day. Look at all these cells, these quarters. Oh, oh, there's a noose. There's an actual noose. Where does this go? That's strange. Why would someone tie a noose here? Like it was just sitting like this, that's creepy. So let's leave this prison cell over here and see what's in these other ones. This is very strange. Like, I don't know, like this is supposed to be a museum, but there's like cigarettes sitting here. Oh, that's nasty. Like, why does that say that? That's kind of racist. But these, these actually might've been cells back during the slavery era. Okay, the fact that I'm up here all by myself, you guys, that alone is terrifying. I don't know how many floors this place is. Oh Jesus, I was expecting something to pop out of there. 
Don't worry guys, I won't ever jump scare you. Like, we give you the real scares here. None of that bullshit jump scare. Look at this. We got some more bunks. Imagine being cooped up with four other hardcore criminals in cells like this. And then you have another cell over here. Unbelievable. <coughs> well, that scared me. I just choked on my own saliva because that just terrified me. Holy shit. What is all this Halloween decorations? Unbelievable. I feel like something was just behind me just now. What is this? There's a locked closet over here. So I showed you guys what's in that side and back there. Let's go over here and see what we can find. I think there's a staircase somewhere else that leads up to this place, but I'm not 100% sure. There could very well be. <gasps> oh my God. What the f is that? Oh my God. What on earth did I just stumble upon? Holy shit. Holy shit, this is not even funny. This is terrifying, the fact that I'm up here. Where are the boys? Where are you guys? I think they're outside. Okay, so that's kind of freaky because now I, I feel vulnerable because I'm up here actually alone and they're outside. But look at this. Like, what did I just stumble upon? <sighs> yeah, now like my anxiety is literally through the freaking roof because I don't know Guys, are you up here? <sighs> yep. Nope. 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 Where are these guys? Who closed this door on me? Guys. Am I actually in here alone? Where did these stairs go? I am so confused right now. So if I was on the other side and I went up to the prison cells, where the heck did these stairs go? Maybe the guys are up here? Oh my God. Look at that little kid's tricycle. And these dolls. Whoa. This is terrifying. This must have been where the warden's bedroom was. Imagine sleeping in a place like this. Holy shit. What is this place? This is terrifying. Wow, look at this ball. There's this like Annabelle doll on crack. Like what the hell? This is gorgeous and scary at the same time. Look at Granny over here. If you were to ask me, Mo, what is the, your most favorite location of 2021 so far? This would have to be it, it's terrifying. I don't know what I experienced in the cells. It seemed like something got thrown or moved in there. The guys are outside. Wow. Oh, I cannot wait till it gets, oh, is that a bat? It's a freaking bat and it's alive. What? Hey, Mr. Bat. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Why is he upside down? Mr. Bat, let me help you. Okay, don't bite me, okay? Don't bite me. I know people that would eat you, so don't bite me. Okay? Come on. Can I help you up? Good boy or girl, whatever you are. Oh, don't bite me. <laughs> Alright guys, Operation Save the Bat. I'm just trying to help you, man. Don't bite me, okay? Why do you keep flipping over, dude? Don't bite me. I just want to be friends with you. Don't bite me, Mr. Bat. <laughs> Why can't you fly though? Are you good, man? Come here, bro. Look at this, you guys. No, it fell again. Look at this, guys. Damn, I think this guy's dying or something. I'm just gonna put him over here. I feel real bad for him. Okay, I'm just gonna put him over here in the corner. Send him on his way. He keeps flipping back though. I don't know why. Oh, come on, there we go. Stop flipping over, Jesus. Yo, I just found another bat over here. Oh, that one's hard as a rock, ew. 
There's like dead bats everywhere. Why are they all dying in here? That other one on the ground is dying too. You guys, I feel bad for it. Oh, it just died. No! Mr. Bat! What's wrong with you? Oh, I feel so bad. I don't want it to die, you guys. Let's go downstairs. I've explored this area enough for now. Let's go see what the boys are up to and where the hell they are because they kind of disappeared. They're not in the same building as me right now, so where the hell are they? What is going on in there? It sounds like someone banging in there, right? I came outside to uh, let Omar know of my discoveries inside and uh, we're hearing some noises coming from this side of the building. On the outside though. Yeah, the owner showed up earlier off camera and she was telling us that they do this Halloween attraction here. That's why they have like all this creepy haunted stuff. She said a lot of it was actually legit haunted stuff though. It wasn't just like Halloween toys. Right. Yeah, this place is cool, you guys. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. a bat. Wait, is that a bat or a beehive? Oh, oh a beehive. dude, that's a massive beehive. Oh, look, look, there's like a million others. Like up there. Oh, those are black hornets. Oh, shit. Oh, you don't know. Like if you come around this way. Oh, look over there. Look over there. There's oh. like a million of them. Oh, I don't want to get out of here. Yeah, that's a dangerous hive. Those are like, those will mess us up. Sergeant, I'm back inside alone. The boys are outside. And the reason why I want to spend a bit of time alone is because I want to see if something is following me, something followed me back from Canada, which we all know something did follow me. I'm not going to say his name because if I say his name, then he's going to, he's going to show up and he's going to get really angry with me. Now, I did notice that there were some jail cells back this way where I originally noticed a mannequin. But what is this room over here? This is one room that I haven't been into yet. I'm gonna have to find my way in there because it looks like there might be some cool things in there. But let's go here. Oh, there's light here. Perfect. Oh, oh. Who's here? It sounds like somebody was walking here. Is there anybody here right now? Now, keep in mind, we actually have this place for the entire weekend. It's a Friday night. Whoa, spider webs everywhere. It's a Friday night, and we have this place until Saturday and Sunday. So, we might just film all throughout the night tonight and just make as many videos as we possibly can out here. Because I know you guys like different types of videos. Like, tonight I'm doing an exploring video. I might do another paranormal video after this, and then after that I might do a, a lights out challenge. Now, that's gonna be freaky. And if we do a lights out challenge, we're, we're gonna be only filming in night vision and each person goes in all by themselves. Everybody has to stay outside, that's the whole point of the challenge. And you have to basically survive in here for 30 minutes alone. So if you guys want that, let me know in the comments below. Man, this thing is creepy. Uh, what is, I'm trying to get through all this. Oh, I didn't see this anywhere back when I was outside. This is like a whole different jail cell with a bed in it. And what's this? This looks like the Chokey from Matilda. Now I know you guys know what Matilda is and the Chokey is. All right, let's go to this this room here. I don't know where this one is. I did not see a door for it. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, it might be here. Oh, there we go. So I think I figured out, no, this goes outside. What the hell? So wherever the door is to get into that room, it's it's not here anymore. It's gone. So where the heck could it be? So this is the jail cell that I just seen from behind over there. Around 1925, a female prisoner, her baby and crib were housed in the jail for a couple of months. And this one right here, W.R. Tootin and Addie Smith furnished extra milk for the baby. I don't know what the hell that means. The woman was accused of poisoning her husband, but the commissioners allowed her out of jail because, because of the cold weather, she was not convicted, but was asked to leave the county. Wow, so she got lucky. Somebody was supposed to spend time here for poisoning their husband, and she got off. I wonder what kind of favors she had to do the warden to get out of here, if you know what I mean. So yo, there's a prison cell that we can't get to over here. It's completely cinder blocked off, and I don't see any doors. That looks like the hole. And hey, look, there's like, 
Yeah, it looks like. And there, you can't get to it. Oh, there's medical gear. I know how to get to it from the outside. How there's there? yeah. So there's That's a way door that I was playing with outside. Really? Yeah, that there's only one way in and one way out, and it's through the outside. There's like a whole another area there, and it looks like there's medical equipment, like a hospital type thing in there. A little while ago, I took you guys to a jail in Canada. It was the first ever jail built in Canada. It was the oldest one, and a lot of hangings took place there. And we caught a lot of paranormal activity inside of that place. Now, can you imagine what kind of things we're gonna capture in this? Like, this place is even older than that jail, and there's been a lot of documented hangings in this place. Although there's not too much historic information, we talked to the owner when she came. Um, we actually, she came and we paid her. Uh, to be here tonight. There's not too much documented paranormal information out there, but she does tell us it's 100% haunted, and she told us that the dolls and a lot of the mannequins that she has in here have spirits attached to them. Now, as I'm saying this, I feel like something is literally reaching into my stomach, and it honestly hurts. I hope you guys enjoyed part one. I'm gonna go ahead and end this off because I'm gonna let, allow Omar to film his video, and then I'm gonna start on my part two, which is the paranormal investigation to this haunted jail smash like button if you guys are excited for part two don't worry guys i won't keep you waiting i'll probably post it like in two days after this one i just wanted to give you guys lots of content and i want to keep giving you guys bangers i know you guys love the bangers with omar and i so hashtag momar down in the comments below don't forget to be you do you stay positive download my game smash smell the link is down below and follow me on ig ig and twitter that's all i ask guys keep up to date with my stories on the instagram and on the twitter and if you want to become a part of my app the most sarji app become an exclusive member so you can watch all my exclusive videos there. I'll see you guys on the next one.